Hello everyone, my name is Lord, and this is the Drake's Horde. Today, I will be playing Enderol, a full conversion Skyrim mod that I heard very good things about. Uh, decided this would be the first uh, video recording that I would be doing. I heard so, so much uh, good things about this mod and how everything looks and how everything runs. Um, uh, let's get started. Elemental creep. Magical energy. Very aggressive as well as dangerous. Nice day in summer. I have to talk with Daddy, he wants to tell me something important. Well... I'm assuming that means move along this path, but... I'm gonna ignore that for now. I'm gonna look around a little bit. Oh! three skeletons burning here. Okay, enough about that. Uh, there's also a teddy bear. This is very beautiful, though I think, I think they went a little bit over. Oh yeah, and if you notice a little bit of shadow pop in, uh, that's just because I had to edit some settings. Uh, my computer isn't a beast, so I had to had to change a few things before I got in here. But besides that, it runs very well. Triciousness of meat. Meat is life. Even the Ash people who were populating this world before us knew that. Each time they killed an enemy in battle, they tore out the liver and heart of the fallen and ate them together with their family. By doing so, just as everyone knows, the strength of the beat, beaten enemy is passed on. But as we are living in a time in which eating fellows is nonsense seen as barbaric, we, the friends of the bloody meat, have to settle for animal sources. Okay. Oh, before I forget, um, I'm playing the newest version of Enderol, uh, which has a bunch of added content and everything. Um, oh, there's a doll here in another book. Uh, oh, it's it's the same book. Um, the new, the newest version, I, I'm so professional. Um, I believe it's called Forgotten Stories. Uh, it actually adds, uh, some stuff to, uh, the original mod. And, uh, I'm actually playing on Steam. It just, it looks so good. Even, even though, like, my shadow poppin' is, like, terrible. It just, it looks really nice. Well, I don't, I don't know if I'll be able to keep stuff like that. And that, like I said, too much blue. No, 
I'm also I'm also sorry like sorry if I frustrate people because this is my first time playing this and I haven't played Skyrim in a long time. Uh hopefully you can forgive me. O oh Lord, O oh Maker, I can hear you calling. I feel your love, I know about your sacrifice. Without you, I am nothing, a twig on the currents of time, a sheep without a shepherd. Free me from my vices and forgive my trespasses. Forgive to my wife and my child. Deliver me from my pains and bless us with your everlasting mercy. Okay. Give to my wife and my child. Okay. Oh, another quick note. Uh, because this is my first time on YouTube, uh, uploading videos and whatnot, um, I think I'm gonna end up just doing minimal editing. Uh, and if you guys want to skip anything, that uh, is taking too long or arduous, uh, I think I'm going to put up timestamps in the description below. And, uh, oh, talk with daddy. And, uh, hopefully you guys won't get too frustrated with me with that. Oh, hey there. I didn't see you coming. So, how did it go? Did you find it? Fine. Find what exactly? What is this place, Daddy? Where are we? <laughs> Where are we? We're at home, silly. Where else would we be? Just Mommy, Sister, you and me. Now tell me, how did it go? Did you find it? Uh, no I didn't. I don't even know what it is. No? Hmm, pity. Maybe you're simply looking in the wrong places. Did you ever think of that? <sighs> oh, um, well, who knows? Say, why don't you go inside and see if you can help Mommy with the cooking? The creator was kind to us today and sent a big, fat elk right in front of my bow. All right? Okay, um, praise, praise the creator. I have a bunch of chickens. And uh, I, I, I heard, like, the very beginning is, like, the most graphic-intensive, so, uh, if I can get away with changing some settings later, I might just do that so it looks a little bit better. Oh, that doesn't look very nice. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely go check that out after the very beginning of here. <laughs> That's kinda kinda creepy. Capital fires key. Oh I, I was about to say that's really nice, and then I saw that. What the heck is going on here? I, I do we just have animal trough? What's on this dresser? Rubies? This. I. I don't know if I get to keep all that, but that, that's really nice. The art of crispy meat. What? Who doesn't... Who doesn't know that? You are looking forward to a nice crispy meat after a hard day of work, but useless child who instructed... You instructed to cook it gives you a charred something instead. Castigate them? But the problem stays the same. You are hungry, which means that there's no other way than doing it yourself. Walk to the fireplace, cut out a big, a big bloody chunk of the animal, throw it into the kettle, and behold, slowly the present smell of burned life reaches your nostrils. Is there
there anything better than that? I don't think so. Um, this, this is, this is kind of creeping me out a little bit. What is this? Why did, why does he have so many of these, wait, oh, I thought it was something else. Why does he have so many of these books? Why is there, there's like random body parts everywhere? What is all this? Oh, there's some, there's a veggie, I guess. I guess. I don't, oh. This is, this is kind of disconcerting. There's just a heart sitting here in a jar. Savory pies. Ingredients: two pounds of meat, one jar of flour, handful of or like a handful of ground whisper weed, half a jar of meat broth, and a bunch of sugar. That is that is like extremely simple. I I guess I guess Dad likes his meat, right? Um, what the heck? Wait. Why? This is ob obviously the preparation table. What the frick is that doing over the preparation table? Am I locked in here? No. Maybe. Maybe I should leave. But I guess. I guess. Oh, this just looks. What the heck is going on here? Oh, there is just meat everywhere, and there's there's the here. Oh, can't move. Okay, you're kind of creeping me out a little bit. My, my, I totally forgot what a mess I left here. But I was right, wasn't I? A real gem we've got here. Well then, let's waste no more time and get to it, shall we? Um, okay, Dad. Uh, what, what about Mommy and Sister? What? Now would you look at that? I totally forgot about them. No. They're dead, don't you remember? <laughs> No. You murdered them back then, both of them. But hey, no use crying over spilled milk, right? At least Seriously? this means there's more meat for the two of us. You still remember how to do this, right? First, off with the skin. Slice up the belly, then out with the entrails. I'll look for a nice um, sharp knife in the meantime, to cut off the head. I don't think either are, of us wants to eat that, Are we, we sure you didn't <laughs> kill them or something? Why are you laughing about this? But I didn't kill them, Daddy. It was the masked man. I killed them, Daddy. What masked man? Oh, silly. What's this again? We both know that's a lie. You did it. I remember it all. First, you set this horrible fire to your sister's crib. She screamed and screamed, and Mommy heard it, but when she finally got there, uh... nothing was left of her but burnt flesh. And, oh gosh, do we really need to go through this again? You know how sad it makes me when you do this. You killed them, period. No matter how often you tell me you didn't, it changes nothing. You hear me? Nothing. Now please, let's start cooking. I'm so bloody damn hungry. Um, I'm sure you are. Uh, please don't hurt me. <laughs> oh, by the Creator's name, why are you telling these lies? Isn't it enough that you murdered us? Do you really have to bother me over and over with your stupid, pathetic, and pointless whining? Wait, mur wait you know, murdered us? Sometimes I wish the creator would have made me just a little I less I barely merciful. caught that. Just a little less <laughs> pious. Because then, I would have realized that you were tainted by sin long before any of this had ever happened. 
And instead of raising you, feeding you, and loving you like a father does, I would have put you in the horse trough right after you were born. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yes, I should have killed you. I should have just killed you. Just like you killed us. And now, you think you're safe because we're all under the earth, don't you? Well, listen up, on. my child. You are wrong. And do you know why? Because the dead don't forget. Um, do you hear me? The dead um, don't forget. Now enough of this useless chatter. I'm bloody starving. Bring um, me the meat, you spoiled brat. Bring it to me. Bring me a nice crisp piece of meat. 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 So that was, um, that was mentally scarring. <laughs> Let's begin with a question. It might sound simple to you at first, but I pray you to think about it. What distinguishes a free man from a slave? For now, however, let us start this story where another one ended three years ago. With the death of the Lightborn. For 4,000 years, they had reigned over this world seven arcanists who through their magic had acquired eternal life in a time of chaos they gave mankind what they thought it needed most to be ruled over with an iron clad fair hand within just one century they united the shattered lands and a single century later their human origin was forgotten they became gods or Lightborn, as they let themselves be worshipped as. Yet the longer they reigned, the louder the voices grew that accused them of tyranny. The loudest being that of Naranzul Aranthio. And he succeeded in achieving what was once thought impossible. He gathered an army, overturned the Lightborn, and gave back freedom to mankind. However, the price for this was high, because where there are gaps of power, fights erupt. As such, this world grew into what it is today. Shattered, riven, and broken into pieces. But all of this was merely a diversion so that no one would notice something else. The death of the Lightborn had set something into motion, a clockwork. Having long stood still, its gears now once again slowly began to turn. This is the story of someone who wanted to be free. That is really cool. I really like how they did that. Again, sorry for Shh, any problems hey, in France. Quiet, damn it! You wanna wake up the entire ship or what? Well, sorry. That was a bit harsh. I, I'm just nervous, that's all. It was that dream again, wasn't it? You mean... You mean the fiery inferno and Dad going insane? Yeah. Exactly. Uh huh. Seriously, if we had a penny for every night since we met where you woke up screaming, we'd probably be traveling to Andoral in our own starship and. well, not like this. Some things never change, I guess. Do you ever ask yourself if maybe you blame yourself for all of this? For what happened to your family, I mean? Blame myself for two things. I don't know. Maybe. I do different make nonsense those bastards from the temple built them me and I know you talking about the masked men
talking about the uh, old chat with dad. As determined as ever. I guess you're right. But who knows? Maybe everything is going to be different now. It's strange, isn't it? The way life sometimes goes. Now, if you had told me that a few weeks ago, I would have at the very least called you insane. But if the stories are true, there's no better place for a fresh start. Can you believe it? Apparently, there aren't even any slaves on Enderal. It's amazing. Only this whole blind passenger thing is making my headache. Our fault. The ship is so poorly guarded to have a full passage fee anyway. Me too, but we're there dead as soon as we have earned some money. I like to think that I would pay off my debt. We're talking about 500 pennies here. Even if we're able to find a job over there, we will still need the money for ourselves. Don't fool like yourself. Five bucks. What we're doing <laughs> here is theft. Unfortunately. But anyway, what's done is done. I just hope the Andralians are easier on Outlanders than the Neremis are. Your mother was a fugitive as well, wasn't she? Where exactly did she come from? You've told me a hundred times, but... I just keep on forgetting it. Oh, finally, character creation. Okay. Um, oh! We're... We're half... We're, we're half race. Um, does that mean our mother's different from our father? I don't even know what our father was. Was he like... I, I think he kind of looked like the uh, Linian. Native swampy continent, Mira Aranoth. The destruction of the land caused by decades of war forced many Eterna to escape to other countries. Their various destinies awaited them. Some pursued and disregarded. Yeah, some pursued and disregarded them because of their. I don't know why that doesn't make any sense to me. Some pursued and disregarded them because of their innate magic talent. Some revered them. Many Eterna earn their life as traveling minstrels. Half Eterna start with a bonus for elemental, elementalism, entropy, mana, and enchanting. Oh. Okay. And I, I really do like um, the the mage archetype and kind of uh, the magic race, so I might go with half Erezelian. Originating the barren step like continent, Erezil. The Erezelian are a divided people. While the nomadic natives in the ste steppes maintain their uh, pantheistic, uh, tradi pantheistic traditions, the coastal inhabitants regard them as pr primitive and struggle for recognition as fully fledged part of the civilized world. Oh, okay. Half Kalanian. As a secluded people, the inhabitants of the belt of Kile are said to have a reclusive mind. Kilanians are deemed as blessed businessmen, a rumor that can be ascribed to the Blue Island Coalition, which is Vin's biggest trading company located in Kile, among other things. Half Kilanians start with a bonus on Frederick's carrying capacity, sleight of hand, and Oh, wait. Why, why this, why doesn't this say anything about their bonuses, but these two do. Ah, whatever. Half, uh... Kiernian. Kiernians, hopefully, I'm... I'm sorry if I butcher any pronunciation. I'm... <laughs> trying my hardest here, guys. Uh, Kiernians originate from the namesake desert continent, which is said to be both barren and inhospitable. At the same time, it is also known as the Cradle of Science and Mysticism. 
culture. While many foreign countries admire Kira for its advanced culture, they are often deemed as heretical, especially on religious content. Kendro. Okay. Right. I think I will go uh, Eterna. I kind of I kind of like the idea of making a character, and wouldn't mind being half elf. <laughs> oh, um, make a male or female character. Well, before I make that decision. Oh, so if anyone wants to skip this, I think I'll put a, like I said, I think I'll put a timestamp uh, down in the description below that'll uh, tell you how to skip this. Um, still new to YouTube, so I don't, don't know uh, what I'm capable of yet, so we'll see where that goes. Oh, you can you can make a rugged looking elf. Jeez. make a female character. Though I will say uh, some of these look a little bit better than Skyrim originally gave you. Hey, maybe I'll see what I can do. Those who wanted to watch how I make characters, uh, I am so sorry.
they actually do have hairstyles. These are different hairstyles than they did in Hyrule. actually think I kind of like this guy. So I think I'm going to use him as a base. Change his skin color. Not. is that? Head tattoo. Oh jeez. This, this still concerns me very much. Um. Uh, what kind of tattoos are we talking about? Skyrim. Hey, okay, how about give him actual cow? Bring it back a lot. Still, still very typical, like Skyrim. Oh. Um, what do I do with that? A lot of facial hair. Wait. I I don't know why, but I kind of like the I kind of like the red locks going on. I think I think I'll go with this. did add like quite a bit to this. It, unless I'm mistaken, of course I could be. <laughs> oh 
boy band like Como thing. I I'm kinda I'm kinda sold on that one. I might change. I might actually change his skin color. Yeah, just make it one step darker. If I actually leave this up for everyone to see, people are going to be like, you should have did it this way. <laughs> I like what you can do with that. That's pretty good. Actually, I actually kind of make some look serious. Let's just leave it. bit. There we go. Frick. So instead of like, I don't know, cheekbones, can we like a little cheek? His face is slightly gaunt. Maybe they won't let me. 
like using uh He's not a bad looking. Of course, I still cheated and I went basically and then just edited it. Yeah, I, I don't think he looks too bad. Alright, um. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna get fan too fancy this plate. Right. Um, yeah, I think I'm done. Uh, also, I may or may not put that video, uh, the character creation in the video. Simply because it took me a little bit, and maybe, maybe some people would actually want to see how I did that. Uh, not, not all that exciting, folks. Right. An Eterna, right. She was one of the last of her kind to leave Maya Awanath, wasn't she? Ironic. Seems some parents pass on their fates to their children. <sighs> anyway. Whew. I'm gonna hit the hay for an hour or so. It's your turn to stand. Wait. You hear that? Hear what? Someone's coming. Women nowadays just what? don't want a man to court them anymore. That's the problem. I tell you, sometimes I long for the good old days, back when I could lift a skirt and nobody would bat an eye. Anyway, enough of the chit chat. Now, where did I put that key? Um, oh, Blazes, what do they want down stuff. here? The lamp, quickly, put out the lamp. Good. Now, quiet. Ah, here we go. My, it smells like Vautier's balls down here. Say now, what's that chest supposed to look like? Small, with the crest of the Blue Island Coalition on it, I think. Ah, yeah, right, right. Black Guardian knows what the captain wants it for this shortly before arriving. You go look upstairs. I'll see if I can find it down here. Okay. Oh shit. They don't leave us any choice. We need to do something quick. You take on the old guy, I'll take the young one. Go! Okay. Wait. Someone's there. Ah! Oh, oh to the my face. god. Come on, I, I like setting... You can do it. I like setting my, my mouse, so... This line up. This is left click, and it like throws your right fist and everything. I know why they did that because it's like your right hand versus your right hand. Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! Oh man! That wasn't part of the plan. <sighs> Not at all. What in blazes are we going to do now? Let's kill them. It's safer that way. No, I wouldn't kill them. Maybe we should turn ourselves in. Ah. I don't think we should do that after we knock these guys out. Uh, let's tie them up and gag them uh, if we sneak out. I don't. I don't particularly like that option either. Can't we? Can't we just like jump out of the like j jump overboard and like take our chances swimming swimming ashore? I said we're close. Take like a barrel or something. I don't know. Could just be like a frick ton of hope. Um, yeah, let's go with the lesser of the evils. Yes, yes, of course. That that makes sense. One of them said it's not much longer until we arrive. With a little luck, no one will notice they're gone until then. Come on. Help me search. There must be a rope or something. And I thought we were over the hump when we made it on board. Sorry, real quick. Long here. Go. Come on, 
left hand to be left and right hand to be right. There we go. <sighs> I know, I know some people will be easy, like, is that mad? I won't be like, because it just, it feels more natural to me. Oh, a rope. Hey, wait, wait, I didn't see a rope. Oh, it's like on top of the mirror. Poor lost souls. The probabilities have turned against you. What the? Who are you? You are confused by my sudden appearance. But my identity is irrelevant. As are you, dear Sirius. Unfortunately. What? Oh shit, please don't tell anyone we're down here. Please. We didn't mean any harm. These guys were just... You ask that I not reveal you. For your intentions were not evil. And I believe you. But sadly, it's not compassion that rules my deeds. The first beat of a wing must happen. It is the only way the probabilities will fall into place. This is the way it has to be. The way it has been for eons. I am sorry. What the? Oh, no. no! What are you okay. doing? Please! Just don't leave! We, were, we just wanted to... Much more involved in uh, some of this Skyrim stuff. Prologue, a new life. After we had left Ostin, the two of you hid in the cargo and lived on our stocks. Then when Rick and Sebald found you, you gave them a beating. And all of a sudden, a veiled woman appeared and knocked you out with wild magic. Is that about it? Yeah, yes, right. I, know, I know it sounds crazy, but it's the truth. Please, my dame, we... We didn't have a choice. You've got to believe us, the war. It, we, we just wanted a second chance, that's all. A second chance. Yes, I think I understand you. You wanted to start a new life in a new land. And as my ship is one of the only ships still sailing the route since the wars, you were simply forced to board without paying. Yes, we could work for you, you, you know? We could scrub the deck, peel potatoes, anything to pay off our debt. And as soon as we've arrived... Heartbreaking. How truly, truly heartbreaking. But let's be honest, you did have a choice. You could have signed on like all the others did, but you didn't. True. Instead, didn't you've nested that? on my ship like flesh maggots, enjoying the good life while my crew actually had to earn their keep. And now you're feeding me this bullshit about veiled women and wild magic? How stupid do you think I am? I know your kind. You are cutthroats, filchers. At least have the guts to admit it. What? No, 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 no. You, you're wrong. We, please, just let me explain. I... I don't give a shit for your explanations. If there's one thing I hate more than cowards, it's people trying to pluck my heartstrings. You two are scum. And there's only one kind of punishment for scum on my ship. Pull him up, Ruger. But Captain Nate... Do it. Of course, Captain. I'm sorry, lad. You should have stayed in their room. But... You, you can't do this. Oh, believe me. I can. <laughs> no. I... Oh. Oh, oh well, look at that. Someone's woken up. Rise and shine. That's making me... Uh, Tie him and his friend together and feed them to the fish. Good oh, of luck course. In your yeah, new that's, life, that's the logical friend. thing to do, lady. Hey. <laughs> they beat me on the head. Is time. 
to the dead, dreaming, dreaming anyway. They come from the same so many place. people just talk, 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 and How never How does it feel to be powerless? This is about your damn pride, dear. I know I'm not real. Mistake. At least not according to your definition. I know but damn well I do. It just... And there was nothing I could do. This isn't happening. But then again, this just isn't happening. What is reality anyway? Selfish fool! This is this is like the mage. Dennis Strobe. Epcon. Elementalist to Mark in my Okay, that's interesting. What is it? There's like the three main stone and then there's like oh Okay, I, I heard about this. They were talking about Phasmalist and something having to do with alchemy and like a potion can like temporary turn you something. Apparently this was added as part of this I think be wrong. Oh. Of course, if if I really actually did that and jumped in the water, I don't know how the frick I would be able to get back up. Um, so maybe it's a good thing that they have in Okay, so... Tell me if it's why. Let's press Y. better
Sirius is dead and I'm alive. I write these words, but I'm not sure if I am understanding them. Ask me Android. Feeling strange, fevers and weak as well as strong and clear, as if a veil had been in front of my eyes for my entire life, which was lifted out. I am also remembering a weird dream which I had before. Up, especially the little dude series ship's bow. All begins with the dreams. Remember, I need the answers and likely I'll find a way to reach in. H. Oh, and that, that's likely like the bonus that I got. <coughs> Sorry about that. like any abilities? No, I don't. Oh, wait. The blood of the first one's culture of bones. Increase entropy and to the two and two to the third. We feel odd, cold, but at the same time feverish it takes its toll. Press Y to do that, right? Wait, it can be like a normal ability or something. Like, what are like the activated ability E? I can't remember. It's Z? Oh, I guess that makes sense. Is Q used for anything? Yes, it is. It's used for anything. So, I can do, I can do with Okay, so I don't actually need to bind that to an ability. Um, memories of the Phasmalist allow you to construct ghostly companions for souls of dead people using your knowledge and enchanting. Phasmalist can be every style plan warrior may. Talent Net of Souls allows you to see and collect souls. To see soul. To see souls. Second. See souls. Five. Sixty. Um. That's that's actually cool. I think. Yeah, that's the. I think. I think it's all well. Well and fine. I think I might actually touch on these two. I don't think I'm gonna worry about the warrior slash assassin stuff. Now, I'm assuming, yeah, this is like, that's, that's assassin. This is the mage stuff, so I think I have to start from bottom? Yes, I do. So, I think I'm gonna start from the bottom, and I have one memory. So, I have zero remaining, and now I have... So, back. What? That's it. The hand. Hey, where'd that come from? Okay, so, uh, how well, I don't worry about that too much, so, how, actually, 
happening in magic, so might use this like what happens. Oh, it like lasts for a while. Okay. Probably lowers the I did see that in the video. Awesome. Alright, bud. I'm probably I'm probably gonna be a little bit of a pack rat in the beginning. I might I might sell some stuff later. So the tools I just have two skill level. Five cost one. I seem to recall that I don't have burning point yet. I don't know how I would just saw chalk. Still not a fan of those rat things over there. Weapon or something here. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Just asking, you will receive. Oh, mining. Oh. I know some people will say that this is like a lot slower. Iron ore, that's always nice. Carrot. Full empty. Bottles. 
Oh, I'm... You also don't heal as fast in this game, do you? Hey, I pick up, like... Still learn stuff. Oh no, this is miscellaneous. Oh, this is consumables. Oh, so the book is the consumable. What happened in the corner? What what activated? Wait, I know how to it's the magic. Oh, it's because of the salt. I'm such a moron. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, I think I got everything. So I guess I guess we just go in here now. Hopefully, I get some magic soon. I would appreciate that very much. Of, uh, I love mages and games and stuff like that. on like the edge of my no on the edge of my hearing gosh darn it that you oh that's where the rune key was get frustrated with me I'm sorry I uh I like like double checking every sometimes and stuff eh let me up let me up let me up let me up gosh darn it there we go whoa it's bats
Alright. Um. There are multiple ways to go. So. Um. Well, uh. Before, before I continue, uh, I think this is a good place to stop for now. Um, I think I'll have the second video up uh, very shortly. It's just to space out everything. Um, if you like what you've seen so far, please uh, like and subscribe and leave a comment. If not, uh, I don't know. Give me a dislike. Give me a comment why, why I did bad and tell me what I could do better. Um, I guess I'll see everybody in the next video. Bye.